So last year, I learned a brand new word. Actually, that's not quite true. In fact, I merely learned a new form of a word that I already knew. That word was fetish. I knew what that was all too well. A form of sexual desire in which gratification is linked to an abnormal degree to a particular object, item of clothing, part of the body, etc. According to Google. I knew what it was because I was one. Too often, my body was politicized, sexualized, and glorified by cisgender men who did not view me as a person. I love trans guys. They're so adorable. It's hot that you bind your breasts. Aw, you're like a little boy. Are you submissive? My body is not a secret to be unlocked. I am not a novelty, an achievement, or an experience. Yet, to these hungry beasts snapping and snarling for a bite of my identity, I was nothing more than a doll. And I was aware, from experience, that to mistake this hunger for love was a dangerous folly. Show your humanity to a man such as this, and you can see who they really are. They will throw you away like a used tissue. Yes, I knew the word far too well. Then, I was in English class. We were listing synonyms for talisman. Fetish, someone said, an inanimate object worshipped for its supposed magical powers or because it is considered to be inhabited by a spirit. And then it all made sense. I saw all of a sudden why they're drawn to my skin but not to my soul. There is magic creeping underneath the surface more powerful than they can understand. There's power flowing through my veins too strong to look directly at. My blood is the sun. Brilliant, blinding, and dangerous. My body may be a petite little doll, all pretty blue eyes and high-pitched voice, but I am the demon that possesses it, and I will curse you until the day you die. If I am a fetish, I am the fucking magic kind.